What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single-player Let's Play. We are on Alpha 13.6, Season 13.6, Episode 1. That's right, we had to restart because uh, they've done a big update to Random Gen. Uh, I'm going to read it right off, the, uh, right off their own webpage. Um, Merry Christmas, Survivalists. Uh, we have a great new patch under the tree. Uh, note this patch has a major reworked random generation code. Play old 13 save games at your own risk. So basically, I just want to start over. And uh, right here, we are... Everything is default on my... Uh, everything's default on my uh, options, except for day daylight length. I have that up to 18. And if you're interested, this is the... Um, this is the seed. Uh, I chose I chose to use numbers as a seed just because I didn't want to have to think of like weird things to say. You know, normally I would just name it Alpha Thirteen Point Six, but I kind of wanted uh, to use numbers as a seed this time. So that's my seed. So let's go ahead and get going. All right. So uh, what do we got here? They've added a very rough draft to caves. Um, still more to do with noise values yet. Um, so yeah, they've uh, they've made really funky caves. I played a little bit of this uh, off camera, and uh, yeah, the caves are pretty funky, like no joke. Um, and you will see when I get to one. Uh, what else? What else? What else? They've added a. You know, it's hard to read. I'll read you the rest of the patch notes at night, or like when I get chance to, because I want to get started here. Um, the reason I'm so paranoid about getting started is because I have been I have heard talk that there is a bug in the game right now that is calling in seven day horde uh, seven day hordes every day. Now I actually went on the I actually went on the forums and looked into that and uh, I couldn't find anything about it. So um, I don't know if it's true or not, but um, yeah, I did hear some people talking about it on Teamspeak, but I did not see anything um, about it in the forums. So we will have to wait and see about that. Let's uh, get ourselves a stone axe. Um, we have been talking a lot uh, on my previous videos about stone axes. Um, skill system, is it is it like, should I be, you know, should I be crafting lots of stone axes to get my skill up? And a lot of you guys have been for it, and uh, I've been thinking about it, and, you know, I'm not totally against it anymore. It does feel slightly exploitative but at the same time like basically what it means is guys you get there's a there's a skill here that's very hard to get up called tool smithing and um basically you just craft many many stone axes to get your tool smithing skill up now the um the reason i wasn't doing it is because it feels kind of exploitative and um it still does to me a little bit but uh some people are bringing up some good points on why it's not an exploit um if you were if you wanted to like learn a skill in real life what would you do you would make that item over and over and over and over. And this is no different. So I, you know, I'm going to do some of the uh, crafting of the stone axes to get my skills up. I'm going to try not to abuse it too much, but we'll, we'll see how things go. All right, what do we got else for the update? So they changed uh, steel walls now at 4,000 hit points instead of 2,000. They doubled they doubled the hit points of steel walls. Um, nighttime zombies are, are restructured like daytime zombies. Do you get dog hordes now on day five with no spawning near day seven so players have uh time for the horde so you're gonna get the dog horde earlier which <laughs> i'm not really a fan of but you know whatever um what else we got oh <laughs> so they nerfed uh they nerfed spike traps damage now because gore blocks are disabled um eh, uh, <laughs> uh they've also uh added new rbg red blue green colors to map markers so when we put when we put markers on the map now we can have different colors which is pretty cool uh, I'm gonna try and stay out of this area because it's it's hard to spot it's hard to spot uh, nests on the ground with that kind of area. Let's look on the map really quick. I think I'm going to head this way. Um, yeah, let's just head this way. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Okay, no, oh, it's gonna bring us right into here. That's okay. I want to I want to head east. Um, oh boy, that thing broke quick craft another one we gotta we gotta keep a lookout for nests um we've got to get ready for the day two horde because or day one hoarder i should say um because i don't know if it's going to come or not but um fact of the matter is it could come and uh like i said some people have been talking about it oh look at this all right we need to go that way so let's uh, get down this hill without killing ourselves let's go ahead and get some more stone while we're up here we're not being bothered by zombies um, dogs attacking, they fixed dogs attacking rapidly, so, um, you know, 
basically what was happening was dogs were attacking too quick and uh, they would like take you out in like a matter of seconds um they fixed that and car harvest per tier is now the same so back when you when we were harvesting cars before you would only harvest the first tier because that was when you're getting the good stuff and you wouldn't bother after that um now all tiers of the car harvesting is the same so that is pretty sweet let's make some more stone axes let's make three more while we're waiting here let's go ahead and scrap this metal and let's go ahead and get some more stone we're looking for feathers now we want to get a bow as soon as possible um but we're going to finish breaking apart these rocks. I feel like these rocks were slower to break apart um, in Alpha 13. I think they beefed up the stone the stone tools or something. Because these rocks seem to be breaking a lot easier. I'm really happy I had to restart my world. My old world was kind of messed up. I missed my 7 and my 14 day horde. Um, whether it was my fault or not, I don't know. But uh, it, did, it did suck that, you know, I missed those hordes. So um, I'm glad I'm starting over actually. Uh, Iron Reinforced Club, Craft... And let's get going. Alright, keep an eye out for nest cage. I'm always, like, ignoring nests, you know? We should also get some clay. We should also make a stone shovel. Shovel. Stone shovel. Make a, make three of those. And we're going to put this in here. We're going to throw some of these out. You could burn these stone axes, but the fact of the matter is I'm going to... I'm going to have a, a lot of wasted tools on me, so... Let's get rid of this one, too. Why not? If we got a level three one, why not use it? Okay, yeah, we need to make some arrows, man. I wanted to make some arrows before I made that that um, club because I believe they're both weapon smithing. So it would have been better to make it would have been better to make the arrows first. I'm not seeing any. I probably passed some uh, some birds nests already, but I don't know. I don't really see any birds nests. Where are you? Oh, is this a bag? Sweet. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. We're uh, all that closer to getting a shotgun. Uh, what do we got here? A lot of bags out here, huh? Well, that's not bad. I'm going to change my mind on deep, on uh, crappy gun parts. I'm going to start saving them. Um, we should probably put this jacket on. You, you wear what... Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't make our clothes. Let's make our clothes. Pants. Shirt. Uh, shoes. And we'll get some more. Some people say punch the grass. Um, I'm not going to punch the grass because uh, I like using up my tools so I can make more. I, I know it's the same. And punching the grass gives you athleticism. Athletic athleticism says it only helps you with uh, your, your punching strength. But some people say that athleticism is helping them with their stamina. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just going to continue using the stone axe. Uh, plant fiber hat. Gloves. And I think that's all of it, right? Did I miss anything? Put on that, put on that, put on that, that, and where are the gloves? There we go. Uh, bandana. Yeah, bandana. Can I make a can I make a bandana with those? No, you need cloth for that, don't you? Well, let's go ahead and turn all our cotton into cloth. And uh, let's keep going. Alright. Yeah, I'm at ooh, look. You see there's holes in the ground? I'll bet you those are the new cave system. Yeah, that's the new cave systems. Yeah. I'm going to want to live in a cave, but these cave systems are really difficult. Really difficult to, like, get in and out of. I'm actually going to want a lot of wood. Because uh, if you're going to go down in a cave system, you want to have a lot of wood. Because getting down in a cave system is doable. you got to be careful not to break your leg. They don't, they don't go on an angle anymore. They're straight drops, kind of. Um, so going into a cave system, you've got to be careful because, uh, you, you want to bring wood with you so you can make, uh, here, you know what, let's just make some right now. So you can make wood frames. 36, nah, make, uh, 16. And you want to make wood frames and you want to have enough, uh, you want to have enough wood for ladders as well so you can get out. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, when I finally do find the cave system, you guys just let me know what you think about it. I'm kind of curious on your take of the new cave systems. You might have already played the update already, so let me know what you think. Also, are you guys getting the uh, seven-day hordes every day? All right. Uh, yeah, this looks interesting. I'm not going to bother with this cave system, though. I want to keep going. I want to try and find a road or a town or something. 
If I get the, if I get the seven day hoard every day, like uh, Pam was telling me, um, I'm gonna be in trouble. If I don't, I should be okay. Let's go ahead and make some more stone axes while we're traveling. Like I said, you just keep making stone axes and level up your skill. Oh, here we go. See these uh, the birds nests are really hard to see, for me anyway. Maybe they're not hard for you. I don't know, but they're really hard for me to see. All right, got a zombie over here. I'm gonna avoid them. There's no point in... Oh, chicken. No point in killing a zombie at this point. Uh, got, got a, um... Oh, that's a rabbit. Never mind. We got a tent thing over there that usually spawns like five or six zombies or so. So I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, what do we got here? Alright. Let's take a look while we rest. Hmm... Okay, let's head north. I gotta get more bird's nests though. Let's throw this out. Throw this out. Use this. Throw this out. Throw that out. Throw that out. Throw that out. Um. Then we'll hold on to that. Okay. Let's get going. The problem with being on the road is the road's not gonna give me nests. Maybe I should just kind of like follow the road, but stay off road at the same time. See if we can find some more nests. Oh, got a bear. Well, we don't want to mess with the bear, obviously. Um, zombie bears never stop chasing you. I don't know if regular bears ever stop chasing you. I just know zombie bears don't. All right, let's go ahead and make some spikes as well. Uh, let's make 24. Whoa, 72. That's right. You get more than you... Okay. That's right. So 12. There we go. 36 will be fine. There we go. Alright, let's kill a zombie. It's been too long. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that was a lucky hit. Damn. Um, Alright, well, let's kill you too then. Yo yo! Eat it, sucker! That's what you get. Alright, let's make some arrows as well. Favorite arrows, make max. Okay. Alright, alright, so we need to find a place. Uh, because I'm really worried about getting that day one horde. <laughs> um, oh, that's a nice find. It's a really nice find. We'll hold on to we'll hold on to these uh, stone shovels though, because once that shovel's broken, we can't. Um, actually, yeah, we, we need uh, forged iron, and we don't have a we don't have a forge yet. So, all right, let's make a bow, and there we go. We'll put this over here. We'll put that right there. Bow will be in the number one spot. A lot of you guys have been telling me that blue cars are the only ones that give the batteries. So, I will, uh, I'll try and keep that in mind for, uh, future reference. Although, I hope they fixed it, because that doesn't make any sense. Uh, where are... Oh, what's this? Cave. Got another cave up here. Okay. Take a look. All right. Let's take a look at this cave. Oh, this looks pretty interesting. Hmm. I would say we could mark this on the map, but I don't really see any, uh... I don't really see any point in it. All right, let's keep heading north, um, along the road. See what else we can find. If we have to come back to this cave, we will. I'm definitely going to stay in a cave the first night, uh, because I'm worried about that, like, you know, night one horde, like I told you, could be coming. Um, I'm also going to need, uh, I'm also going to need quite a bit of, uh, clay, but until I get the, um, uh, until I get the, let's pick all this stuff, too. Uh, until I get the, uh, what am I trying to say? The forge. 
I'm not gonna need all that much. I'm not gonna need clay at all, really. So. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn that stuff into cloth. And that gives us enough for the sleeping bag. But we don't have it yet. So let's go. I'm glad I found a road pretty easily. That's nice. Let's grab these garbages. How many frames do I have? 16 and 260. Let's get more frames. I'm telling you, when, you, um, when you're in those caves, you're going to want frames to get out. Let's just make another... Uh, yeah, just make another 26. Kick the can. Duct tape. As you guys have been telling me, duct tape is extremely important. Do not get rid of it. Um, I'm aware of that. I just... Uh, I don't know why I got rid of it that one time. I just... Uh, you know, I'm in a hurry sometimes. Just... Uh, not really thinking about it. We don't need a six stone axe. There's two shovels. We don't need three shovels, but we don't have any more. Let's scrap that. Should we scrap these iron fragments? I don't see any reason to right now. Um, you only get 75% of your iron back from scrapping, so you don't want to scrap until you have to. Okay. A lot of cars on the road. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Hopefully we'll get something really good out of one of these. No, nope, not that one. We're gonna go. We're gonna go right for the quality Joe perk as well, guys. Uh, we're just gonna. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do the quality Joe perk all at the same time. I'm gonna save up the all the points and just put it all in at the same time, just to you know, just to make sure it's still okay. Uh, maybe I'll even save uh, save my save file before I do. Sleeping bag. Sleep. And my bow. Um, did I ever make the bow? I thought I did. I had it queued up. Am I just not seeing it? Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. That's weird. It, uh... No, oh, whatever. Let's just keep going. Chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Come to cage. Yeah, that's what you get. Don't run away. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do not have a any uh, bones, so I have to use this thing. Um, I don't know where you get bones. I, I thought you get bones from animals, but I don't think you can get them from chicken. I think you gotta kill an animal for bones. You can get them from, uh, from zombies sometimes, too, though. I don't know if I want meat on me. Eh, whatever. Seriously, what happened to my bow? I know you guys probably know. But, alright, whatever, I'm just gonna make another one. What, I, I mean, it, it doesn't matter because, uh... Oh, we used all the wood, didn't we? That's what happened to the bow. Uh, wooden bow... Oh, we need six wood. Um, kind of in a hurry right now. Four, five... And six. All right, it's getting close. Well, changing your um your day night cycle doesn't make them uh doesn't make them run like any later, but it does make them stop running earlier. If that makes any sense, it's a good weapon right there. All right, I have one of these and one of these, so I don't need the faulty one. Don't need that. Let's put that right there. Come on, put that right there. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Let's, uh... Scrapping this would help. Uh, yeah, let's scrap those. Uh, is there anything I can get rid of or scrap? It does not look like it. Alright, let's just go. We're burning daylight. What do we got up here? I think it's a house? I don't know. What are the chances it's a house? And even if it is a house, I'm not going to be safe if the first horde is, you know, if the first day is a is a big horde. Not really sure. Yeah, if the first day is a is the seven day horde, like Pam was telling me, then I do not want to go up there. Let's grab this car though. This car's in good shape. 
It's probably just the campsite, to be honest. They're usually campsites. Alright, we're gonna start leaving the garbage because I need to find- Oh, what's that? Could that be a cave system up there? Maybe. Could just be a big groove in the mount. Oh no, that's a cave, I can see it. Yeah, that's a cave system, I think. Might be a cave system. We gotta get some wood, though. Let's come look over here. It's grooves. Oh, yeah, that's a cave system. Let's take a look on the map. Alright. Yeah, that looks, uh... Alright, that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. So now we need some wood before we go down there for ladders. So let's come on over here and uh, yeah, these caves these caves like open up like all in different areas all around this area. Um, let's get some wood. Oh, I'm so slow. Okay, I've been cutting down some trees and I've been getting a lot of plant fibers. I think it's about time to go down below. We're actually getting quite cold and I do not have a jacket. So what we need to do now is find out a way to get down here where we don't kill ourselves. And uh, I'm gonna show you on the map the way, the, the way this looks, just like this. Let's go over this way. How about this? Uh, maybe, let's check it out. Oh boy, that's a drop. See, so now we gotta try and get out of here. This is the this is the problem with caves. Getting into them is not that hard. Come on, you could do it. Getting into them is not extremely hard. It's uh, getting out that is that is the difficult part. Okay, let's dig out some dirt here. That'll give me a little step up. There we go. Let's go to the road and take a look at it from the road. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier to get in there. Yeah, this uh, this is already looking a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, this is what I was looking for. Okay. I can't loot anybody because I don't have any room. Although I really do want to loot people. Let's just toss this. And I had to take my, my hat off because I was getting cold. Is there anything else we can toss or break down? You know, we can make a few more of these. And then that'll free up that. Now we can loot this guy. We just pick stuff up. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Two bullets ain't even worth it. Alright, let's take a look around. We, You know what we need? We need our torch. And uh, hopefully that'll warm me up. Oh, I feel pretty warm now for some reason. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, these cave systems are pretty, pretty freaking weird. Um, we're looking for a way to get down. Uh, is this gonna lead us? No. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Let's look over here quickly. Oh, what's this? Maybe. Hold on. Might be a little dark in here. Oh god, that takes a shovel, doesn't it? Might be a little dark in here at times, I apologize, but uh, once we get set up, it won't be a, an issue. Yeah, that takes a shovel. I don't have a room for whatever that gives me, so... Don't really care. Okay. Alright, so how about over here? I've got a little hole right there. We should probably plug that up. Because we don't want zombies falling in through it. Oh! These, these, uh, these caves are going to give me a heart attack, just saying. Okay, how about this? Nope, 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 let's just forget it, let's just go. Oh, shut up, timer. Go a little longer here, I want to find a spot before I call the video. Okay, anything down here? There is not. What we got over here? Nothing. I'd like to go even deeper. This is not deep enough. Plus, there's a hole that'll make them fall right on my head. 
Okay, what do we got over here? Uh, no. No, not at all. That stone will take forever to break out. So we're gonna do one of these. Nope, can't put it down. How about right here? Alright, that'll work. Take him with us. And how about here? Oh. Was I down here already? Yeah, this is all starting to look the same to me. No, I wasn't down here before, but this doesn't look like anything that good. Alright. Let's keep looking around. Hope this isn't boring for you guys, but this is the kind of stuff you're going to have to go through as well, so... It is definitely educational. Hey man, this stuff takes a lot of wood. I spent a lot of time chopping down those trees to get this wood. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. I'm starting to get a little nervous now. You tell I'm not talking, I'm starting to get really nervous here. Alright, we just gotta get in somewhere. Even if it's not a perfect spot. Okay. I mean, there's not much we could do about it. This is gonna have to be it for the night. If we get the, um, if we're getting the seven day hordes every day, uh, we're dead. So, not much we could do about that. Alright guys, I'm gonna call this one here. Time went off a while ago. This is gonna be it for episode one. We'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.